So what is going on for families this summer? So this is the big list, so brace yourself. I'm gonna break it up into family fun, then stuff for younger kids, stuff for older kids, and then I'll throw in something for the adults as well. So to start with, Tice's Meadow have got their bio blitz on the 20th of July, that'll be completely free. You can go down, they'll have events all day, all nature-based. Jay Miller Circus are go um, gonna be down in autumn between the 17th and 21st of July. We have got, obviously, the Stay Wild Festival, go and have a look at that. They do do day tickets, so you can just go down for the day, we don't fancy camping. Um, Lula, Lunar Light Sensory are running a number of different sessions between the 16th and the 18th of July. And it's um, a summer beach party. So this is for the um, babies and toddlers um, down in Yately. Farm Barrera Show on the 26th, on the Friday, they are running a special event called Pioneers of Tomorrow. We went to this a couple of years ago with our kids. So think about all of the STEM careers being there where they can go each week one had like a different stand with something for the kids to do like robotic arms or you know maybe some Lego and they had like um all the big kit out loads of stuff I think the air cadets had a stand where you could do some um virtual flying and stuff flight simulator that's the word I was looking for it is free for under 16s um and if they go as a group like cubs or scouts or school then obviously the grown-ups can get in for free then otherwise I think you have to pay for an adult I can't remember the exact price you have to go and have a look on the list but yeah adults normally have to pay but kids under 16 are free picnic and pop um are back at Aldershot on the 28th of July so this looks like great fun again you have to get your tickets in fast We've got Tough Nutters, so we saw these in Guildford over the May half term and then in the summer between the 1st and 6th of August they're going to be back in Caversham, so if you missed out because of the weather in May you can come back and have a go later. One World Animals, these guys are in Fleet and also in Henley over the summer, so this is, they're about £15 per person, adults have to pay too, they're taking part and you um, basically get to handle some awesome animals, things lizards and all sorts. And um, Row Hill have got their family fun event on the 13th of August. This is kind of between Aldershot and Farnham. And then there is a lovely um, Church Crookham and Fleet um, Garden Society annual summer show. So if you're into that kind of thing, that sounds quite a good one. And um, so now I'm going to talk to you about things that are happening all summer long. These ones are suitable for everybody. And so these, these will be just happening all the time. Bird World in Farnham, and um, they are running a number of different um, events. Obviously, you can go there as a family, no matter what, what the age of your children. But they are also doing some special things for the younger ones. They've got Bluey visiting, the Paw Patrol, Hay Duggy, dinosaurs, the Adventures of Paddington a Bear, and and um, Peter Rabbit is also coming to visit. So they've got something on every weekend for the little ones. That's quite a nice one. Um, there's also the family fun in the pool at Places Leisure. Um, so this is where all the floats and everything are out and then you can just go and have fun. They also do do those big inflatable assault courses, which are great if they're over, kind of, I think it's five, six years old, then they can go and have fun. Great for some sibling fun. And um, what else have they got going at Places Leisure? We've got Clip and Climb, obviously, do it as family. It's, again, I think they've got over four for that. Um, there is the junior gym, adult gym, and they've also got all the courts, things like badminton courts and stuff that you can hire, as well as the soft plays. So there is literally somewhere, someone for everyone, something for everyone there. Jumping Trampoline Park are going to be open all summer. Don't forget on the Friday and the Saturday they do a sunset disco, and they do also do like toddler sessions in the mornings for, for the first session. Down at Alpine Snow Sports, you've got ski camps for like four plus, um, and for, for like, like ski clubs, I should say. I think they're on a Saturday morning. And then they do ski cl clubs for the, all of the ages, including adults. Um, and then of course they've got their um, holiday camps and stuff. We'll, we'll chat about that later. Go Ape, so in Farnham, obviously you've got all the st wonderful stuff at Alice Holt Forest going on all over South. They've got loads of events. Also, Go Ape have got their um, one for the juniors, um, and they've also got one for the over 10s, and then they're also doing forest biking, so you can go and hire bikes out there as well. Um, obviously, we've got things like Hyperia um, launching at Thorpe Park, so Thorpe Park is going to be open, Chessington Zoo's open, Legoland's open, Alton Towers is open, and so it is um, all the castles up, up north. Um, we have One World Animals, as I mentioned, in Fleet. So these guys are going to be doing lizards and all sorts that you can go and handle there. And they're also doing it in Henley over the summer. High Score Arcades. So these are by the Vu Cinema in Farnborough. Um, and they've got an area for the little kids and they've got an area for the older kids. And they also do send sessions as well. Then opposite High Score, there's the Brick People. And they're doing loads of stuff over summer. You can go down there just with a couple of kids. You can go down there as a party. Um, and they also do D&D &D and Pokemon and all sorts of different um, one-off clubs that they run each week. 
Bracknell Summer of Fun are back. So Bracknell Summer of Fun, these, this runs all through the summer, different locations. They've got them in Sandhurst, Cronethorne, Binfield, all over, and it's all free. In think, like in previous years, it's had things like um, laser tag and um, bouncy castles and rock climbing, all sorts of fun stuff. And it's all free, which is lovely. Um, we have got the roller skating. So roller skating, you can either go down to Alton and they are doing roller skating. They're doing roller skating camps down there too. And then in Places Leisure, there are also there. And um, they do set classes all through on a Saturday day. And then once a month, they do an evening disco. It's the first Saturday of the month. So have a look to see when that will be. There is kids history workshops running in Aldershot Military Museum. Free Friday fun days in Alton so go and have a look at the listings for those because they're different each week and then it's the Thames Basin Heaths Heath week um, and so I think it's like the beginning of August and um, these will have things like the wildfire road shows they've got reptile days they've got night jar walks they have all kinds of different events all running some for the older kids some for younger kids and some just for adults um, and then don't forget your libraries. So pop on down to your library. They're doing their reading challenge. I think you, I think it's about six books, isn't it, that you have to complete over the summer. So that's a really good one for 